Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll create an Oracle Linux virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. The first thing we need to do is create a key pair using SSH keygen. Accept the default file location and just hit return for both the passphrase and confirmation. I'm not going to do that here because I've already got one, so I'll cancel out of this. If we look in the users.ssh directory, we'll now see we have an IDRSA private key and an IDRSA.pub public key. Now that's sorted, we can start using Azure. From the main dashboard, we click on the Virtual Machines link. Click the Add button, then search using the words Oracle Linux. We'll accept the Oracle Linux 7 suggestion and then select it from the search results. I'm going to use the classic deployment model for this demo. Enter a host name and a username and copy in the public key you created earlier. If you want to alter the pricing model or the networking, you can do that now. I'm just going to go with the defaults for this. It's going to take a couple of minutes for the VM to be created, so I'll just flip through to the next screen. Once the virtual machine is created, you get bounced across to the detail screen that contains the virtual IP address and also the fully qualified host name. We can now try connecting to the virtual machine. So there you have it, Oracle Linux running on Azure. If you want to see how to install an Oracle database on a VM like this, check out the links in the description box. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and give the video a like if you liked it. Dot com. Multimedia print. What was that? <laughs> Say again. Dot com. Multimedia print. Do you want to say anything else? Dot com. No power and keys here.